In this lecture, let us understand the realization of 7490 decade counter using Multisim. A detailed video regarding 7490 and its counter design as well as the mod counter design has been done and its link will be provided in the description box. You can just go through that. And this particular lecture will be purely concentrated uh, towards the Multisim design. But uh, as a part of a basic requirement, I'll be showing this diagram and one more diagram for this. Now, this is going to be the internal diagram for uh, 7490. Internally, it consists of uh, two counters. One is mod 2 counter and one more is the mod 5 counter. Combination of these two is going to give us the decade counter. Totally, it consists of uh, uh, MR1, MR2, MS1, MS2. All these four are asynchronous pins and active high pins. So these are the four pins. And clock will be provided individually for these two counters. So CP1 belongs to this mod 2 counter and CP2 belongs to mod 5 counter. Both of these two clock pulses are active low in nature. Four outputs Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. As a part of a decade counter, this is what the circuit connection we are going to have. Both the mod counters we are going to make use of. MR1, MR2, MS1, MS2 will be connected to the ground or we can connect also to the zero. And then the clock input will be given to the mod 2 counter that is CP1 is connected to the clock. The output Q0 is connected as a clock input to the second counter that is to the CP2. The outputs will be Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Q0 is going to be the LSP and Q3 is going to be the MSP. So that is this is what the combination we are going to make use of. The clock input given to the CP1, MR1 0, MR2 0, MS1 0, MS2 0. So that gives us the regular counting operation. This is the truth table. Starting from 0, 0, 0, 0, it will count up to 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 to 9. After that, it will come back to the 0. Now, let us go through uh, the multi-SIM realization of this decade counter. In the multi-SIM window, let us first select the 7490 IC. So, here we can directly type 7490. We are going to get this. Say OK. So we have got this one. So place it over here. We need only one IC. Then we, in order to observe the output, we need groups. So we can have direct selection of that. So all groups and type group. So any color we can select. I select the red color. Say OK. So I'm going to place it over here. So we require total four such probes because there are four outputs so let us take four of them so this is the second one then third one and then the fourth one so then so at the input we do require the ground connection for that we can just stay here and we can type ground so we are going to get the ground say ok for that so keep that ground over here and we do require one more ground I will tell you why later keep it here and then we require to have the clock input for that so let us go to sources and uh, select signal voltage source and there the clock voltage so this is what the symbol you are going to get say ok for that and place this clock over here right so this is all what we require with respect to the connection so let us close this one now when it comes to the connection uh, with respect to the circuit explanation I did previously so these were the pin connections that were used MR1, MR2, MS1, MS2 and others but when it comes to the IC over here 
the names are going to be a little bit different so mr1 is designated as r01 mr2 as r02 so like that there is different designation so the equivalent realizations is being done over here you can just refer to this one right so now let us make the connection further so first i will connect the output then the next one one more connection and these are the four outputs we are going to have. can have the zoom operation for this right so mr1 mr2 ms1 ms2 all these must be connected to the ground as per the connection that means r010291192 must be connected to the ground that means these four pins must be connected to the ground so let us make that connection so here we are going to do that so grounded so we can interconnect all these together right so grounding is being done and then INB is going to be the clock input 2 so for clock input 2 it must be given from the output of the first counter that is mod 2 counter that means QA must be connected to INB so let us make that connection so I am taking over here and then being connected over here then for the clock one that is in a I will be connecting this clock so let us make connection for that so this is connection done right the another end of this clock input must be connected to the ground so all connections are being done now the clock is set for 1 kilohertz by default uh, let us reduce that so that we can observe the output very clearly so i'll just double click on this one so here one kilohertz is being given let us make it one hertz right so now things are being configured now we can run this circuit right starting from one two three and four five six seven eight and again back to zero right so this is how the 7490 is being configured and run in multi-sim so let us stop this running thanks for joining